back with you. I'm going to be uh, approaching Pontiac uh, from Bertol. Going westbound on Bertol. I'm going to be making a left turn and be going southbound on this one-way street. And the funny thing is about this one-way street, it's a huge one-way street. They should reverse this one-way street and make it a two-way street. Because it's big enough to accommodate, accommodate two cars coming in either direction. And you notice a new uh, speed hump here might be some problems with uh, drag racing and people not obeying the traffic laws here, but that's another issue. Alright, again, you got the overgrown trees that need to be cut. You got a huge branch over the, over the street in case that thing breaks, it will fall on the vehicle. Okay, I'm looking uh, to my left. I see the catwalks have shifted over to my left. And also, the tree roots has uprisen the courtesy walk at 4116 North Pontiac. That needs to be replaced because imagine you walking out there and it's kind of like late at night and you don't have no street, no, uh, street lights. Uh, that would affect your viewing of that uh, catwalk that uh, raised up because of the tree branches. Okay, as we're approaching uh, the next intersection here, I notice there's a big crack in the sewer mains in the middle of the street. It's crossed over Bell Plain. I notice there's some uh, greenery laying on the ground at 4046 North Pontiac. Uh, looks like there was something going on here. I don't know if it was the landscapers. It doesn't look like landscaper uh, work here. It looks like there's something, something fell from the tree. It may have been a branch during the rain. We're approaching, uh, approaching uh, Irving Park. I see uh, a container box. A container box with nothing written on it. There, I see a building permit on there at 4026. I don't know if that building permit you know, pertains to certain items that they're doing inside. But uh, a container box you know, is a very, very bad eyesore. I notice that the condos are being sold on my right hand side, which is the west side of the street here on Pontiac. I'm trying to, I'm going to stop for the stop sign for three seconds and wait for traffic to clear by. I see a, a repair shop on the other side of Irving Park, which would be the southwest corner. Approaching in here, um, he's got a lot of vehicles parked on the parkway. You know, if he's using the parkway to repair his cars, that's a no-no. He's got par cars parked on the, street, on the street also. I see a, a catch basin hole and a washout at 3941 Pontiac. The sewers caving in. That's uh, very bad. I'm looking down the street. I see some of the catwalks are uh, are broken and sunken down. We got another cave in, sewer cave in at 3927 North Pontiac that needs work. As I'm approaching uh, the next intersection, I see a speed hump here. I also see one of these old-fashioned street poles. I'm going to call them old because they're. I think that maybe in the 50s they planted these things in the ground here. I'm approaching the intersection. You can't see what street I'm approaching because you've got a huge branch with the leaves wrapping around the street sign. And you can't tell what's what here. So, and there should be a stop sign that this fellow was speeding past me as I've been here for a while. There should be a stop sign at that intersection. I mean, safety should come first no matter what. As I'm approaching that street, I don't know. I'm at the 3900 block. I'm sorry, the 3800 block of uh, Pontiac. So I'm approaching Pontiac. I look above my head. I see a lot of branches overhanging the uh, street light. <coughs> the curbs need a lot of work. There's a cracked curb right there at 3843 North Pontiac. And that needs a lot of work. I see people uh, landscaping over here at 3832 Pontiac. Now here's an interesting sewer that uh, the curb is breaking apart and the sewer looks like it's caving in. Uh, the catwalk is 
paving in and off crooked at 3833 uh, North Pontiac. All right, and then you've got uh, a police officer's car parked here, 4619A. I don't know what what uh, 4619A is doing here. Looks like it's a canine patrol. Uh, are they allowed, is the police department allowed to uh, bring their vehicles home with them? That's something we'll have to look into. Okay, and uh, as I'm approaching, I see another catwalk that's collapsing over here. There be something going on underground. What you have here again is another cave that was patched recently. I would say this is within the last year at 3813 North Pontiac. I'm approaching the intersection at Grayson Pontiac as I'm looking southbound. Okay, I notice that there's uh, what you have here is two, two stop signs in either direction, which is a good thing. Okay, you have overhanging trees. You've got the wire from one light pole going through the trees into another light pole. Some Somewhere they had broken the wire down below. They, they call it burial wires, but they can plant them down underneath the ground and they won't and they won't get wet because they're coated with a special coating. Okay, what you have here is landscapers. Now, this is a funny thing because the landscapers don't observe any laws, in my opinion. Because you got a landscaper over here parked right in front of the fire hydrant. If there's a fire hydrant down this way, and this landscaper is down the block, how the heck is he gonna come in here and uh, move his vehicle with all the stuff hanging around he's got here? Now, these landscapers do not observe the law, and here's a perfect example of it. Now, that truck that's sitting right in front of us should have a tarp. He's got a tarp, but it's leaning over, it's buried under the grass, in my opinion, he doesn't use that tarp at all. And what you're going to have is you're going down the street. The wind will get into that back of that truck and blow that grass all over the street. That uh, city personnel has got to waste their time and money to clean it up. It's very, very bad. And it's supposed to have a name on the side of the door, not in a magnetic uh, sign like they have on the side of the truck. Uh, this fellow would be in violation of the Illinois uh, Commerce Commission. Any business vehicle that's doing business should have permanent a name on their door, not a magnetic thing that he can take off and on. How do you know he's not going to use a different name next week? He, these people should be registered with the city of Chicago. One of them, uh, I might be looking into that. Okay, we're in a 3700 block of Pontiac. What we have here is uh, the three stop signs. Of course, Pontiac is one way street going south. There's no need for a stop sign on the other side. You got two stop signs left and right of me. Uh, looks like a pretty new intersection here. It's been asphalted. I'm approaching, uh, I'm looking down the way here. It looks like there's a lot of business vehicles. There's the guy that just went over the curb. a lot of trees, a lot of overgrowth. These trees need to be trimmed. It's uh, very bad here. How can you, and then there was, must have been something here at uh, 3633 North Pontiac because there's a lot of branches laying around. This homeowner may have took the branches and put it in the alley for the garbage men, uh, I'm sorry, garbage personnel to pick it up. Okay, here you got another illegal, uh, illegal parking, I call it. Because if the police officer sees this, he should give it a ticket. You just can't pull up on top of the parkway. Because what you have under the parkway is your buffalo box. That's your water shut off from the main. Okay, and if that collapses, it could cause a leak underground. It wouldn't show up up on top until uh, all the water wouldn't have no place to go. It would bubble up. It's very, very bad. And that's at 3624 North Pontiac. And it uh, looks like that house is for sale. The sign's all the way over. The sign should be in front of the house, not off to the side. As we're approaching Addison Street, we're 